We were started in 1981 by parents of kids on the autism spectrum, which at that time was a pretty unusual diagnosis. In the mid-90s, we became the state affiliate for the Autism Society of America, and we are still the only state affiliate in Oregon. We cover the entire state. Autism is now a much more common diagnosis. We've gone from 1 in 2,500 kids being diagnosed to 1 in 59 kids being diagnosed by age 8. We provide resources, education, advocacy, and support for everyone who's impacted by autism throughout the state of Oregon, throughout the lifespan, and throughout the spectrum. All of our supports and services and materials are provided for free. It's very important to us that we be able to help families without concerns about the cost of it. We don't have any membership costs either. The biggest thing ASO has to offer is connection with people who understand and have experience. Often when families get an autism diagnosis, they feel alone. Even after that, they feel like the challenges they're facing are unique and they don't know other people who've been there before. So ASO gives them the opportunity not just to get information, but to connect with people who've been there and have experience dealing with similar challenges. There's a lot of nevers. <laughs> a lot of them. <laughs> And, you know, the Autism Society was kind of like the door that opened up because we've gotten a lot of closed doors. They're always there for us. Like, it's that open door that I know I can always go to. I have my family. <laughs> my mom found it and it put her, like, in touch with all these resources and groups and stuff that I took a part of and I thoroughly enjoyed. I appreciate the community that ASL presents and brings together, and that's something that we need. We need to know we're not alone, and we need that mutual support, that understanding from someone that has been there or is there. With an autism diagnosis can come an enormous sense of social isolation. So we do a number of events that are targeted towards the autism community, and of course everyone is welcome, but we're going to make sure that the people there on spectrum are going to feel comfortable. The main thing I want others to know about ASO is that they have a number of resources available. If there's something you as an autistic person or as a family member of an autistic person need, just do some research, see what they have, and see if there's something that's going to be useful to you. We really lean towards going on positive sites. Like the Autism Society of Oregon is, has always been positive. You know, you guys cater to the autism parents as well as an individual with autism, as well as neurotypical family members. And so I think that that's great that you guys work on the family itself, not just as one person specifically. It's a great resource for families, and I think that uh getting the word out to more families because there's never enough support. ASO is the largest statewide autism-focused nonprofit in Oregon. So they are the most connected and the most knowledgeable. If they don't know the answer, they know who does. Mm -hmm.